All right, I thought it would be a good time to show you my dirty lawnmower. Uh, dirty lawnmowers are always good to show off. I don't know why I'm so dirty. I usually clean it off pretty good, but I've been busy with all these projects, I guess. So one of the things that I wanted to show is where I'm mowing at. So right now I'm, I'm set at one and a half. Um, I know it's hard to see with the sun here. Uh, one and a half, uh, which is uh, about one inch um, or so. And if we look at the grass here, that's probably, that's probably close to one inch. Um, and I have it set for uh, one inch or one and a half, the one and a half setting um, on it. I'm also uh, mulching today. I've been going back and forth between a half mulch, which is right here. You just move this over and you go to a half mulch. I move it over to a full bag. Um, when I'm in the pool area, I tend to do a lot more bagging um, only because I'm trying to keep those clippings out of the pool itself. Um, the one looks pretty good. It's not super level. Uh, it's hard to see on here. Definitely still have some opportunity as far as um, uh, just some of the bumps and stuff. You can still see some of the low spots out here. Uh, here's one. You can see the sand there. Um, and I'll be hitting that again um, with more sand. I've got quite a bit more uh, still coming. I definitely have a brown tint to the grass and I'm gonna guess if you look here, you can see kind of down into the crown. And then I think just with all the raking and uh, all the different things that I've been doing uh, to the lawn, whether that be uh, with the, the Sun Joe, uh, really working down, pulling up some of that thatch, cutting, verticutting it, and then uh, the sand, raking all that in, it's really beat, beat the lawn up quite a bit. So there's definitely a little bit of a brown hue uh, to everything. Here's a good example of the crown the crown's kind of getting beat up here. Um, and I hope you can see that all right. Uh, but that's that's pretty tough. Here's another crown right here. So it's just having a hard time recovering. You can see the blades are in there and it's alive. But last year I cut it at a lot higher height. And so cutting it at one inch, it's definitely taken a little bit more to get it to be in a happy place. Wish I had a real mower, but uh, I don't have one. Um, and I think the blades are sharp enough. I'm not really seeing any tearing on top of the blades. Um, although maybe, maybe I need to sharpen them again. See if we can get one here. That one actually looks a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. They are looking a little jagged for sure. I might have to sharpen that blade up a little bit better. Um, you know, it doesn't look too bad up here, but again, you can see the crowns right there. And uh, boy, it's just barely sprouting out of it and then I'm cutting it off. But I'm trying to get it to spread to be thicker. I don't want it to be as tall. I mean, two years ago I was cutting this. I apologize for the wind. Two years I was cutting, uh, two years ago I was cutting this at the highest setting um, which was probably closer to three and a half to four inches and you know it's you just can't do this overnight and just expect it to look wonderful unless you have the machines to do it and I don't have a real mower uh, at least not yet it's, uh, on the bucket list of things to do if anybody wants to sell me one real cheap I'd, I'm here to, to hear about it so, um, so that's a little update the lawn Definitely, uh, we're coming into our prime. It's 81 today, 82. We're going to be in the, the low mid 80s all week long, and I definitely expect to see uh, some some improvements in the the overall grass grass health as we uh, as we get ready to kind of get out of the spring and, and into our full summer. So enjoy a little of the mow here, and uh, talk soon. Let's just get back to that mow.
we'll wrap this up. The lawn's looking pretty good. Just did a little bit more leveling. Added a little bit more sand. Trying to get that Bermuda to be a little bit more level. Hard to mow uh, with a rotary when you're mowing at an inch. So that's probably what I'll be working on for the next two weeks while this grass is pretty much growing. Um, starting going into its peak season here and uh, we'll try to get it as level as we can. The uh, area where I, I put in this extra sprinkler head, you can start to see that the grass here is doing pretty good. That was cut out to bury the line. Save most of it. I do have down here, it's a little bit in rough shape because uh, just really shallow. Uh, a lot of rock in there, so I know this is a problem area. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying your Wednesday night, little weeknight lawn mowing, as LCN Lawn Care Nut would say. Thinking of uh, maybe doing a little overseeding. I got about two more weeks before I have to put prodiamine down, and that would put me in the safe zone. So I'm hoping to uh, have some weather hold out for me until June and maybe sneak in a little overseed, try to get uh, some better grass growing in here. I would also like a little bit darker. I have a pretty light. I don't know if, you can, if it comes out, but it's just a little bit lighter green, I guess. I'd, I'd prefer it a little bit darker. Um, however, I could hit it with some iron, I'm sure darken it up. A little finer blade would be nice too. So, the, uh, the lawn's looking pretty good. I do have a little project I'm working on. I will give you a sneak peek at, I don't know if you've seen that over there. But we got some sod. You have noticed there's probably nothing out front. And that's because it's turned a lot greener than that brown dirt I've been dealing with for the last couple of years after that armadillo got me. So, hope you guys are having a good night and we'll see you soon.